Another day, another calisthenics park. Pool day. Pool day, that's right, yep. We're doing another sort of raw footage style video. This time we're in Sydney. Calisthenics parks everywhere in Australia, so suits us. Two bars here, so we've got the rings out. It's going to be mainly focused on ring exercises today, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here's some of the Caltex Park here. We'll be using mostly bars over there. All right, same as last time. Quick loosen off, mobility stretch with the bands. Body's feeling all right today, to be fair. We done a normal gym session yesterday, actually. Found a gym, did a bit of chest and triceps. Yeah, it's a good session. It's definitely good to like switch it up. You know, it's okay to go into the gym sometimes, do a, like a proper session and, and give calisthenics a rest. I feel like that's what it's all about with training. You've got to just make sure it's enjoyable. That's the main thing. Like you're getting bored or something, change it up. So we're going to work on the front levers to start with. The skills at the start of your session and then you start doing the exercises after that. We're going to build the muscle for the skills. Where's my balance here? Still yet to find a gymnastics gymnastics place. Most of you probably know we do some gymnastics as well. Kind of goes hand in hand with calisthenics, which is definitely helpful. Joe's just doing a couple of runs to get warmed up, get the heart rate up a bit. Fuck, I want to do it as well. Sound. Putting that cool boy at the other Cali Park we're out with bucket hat on. The Melbourne gym. He was doing runs and stuff as well, implementing that into his calisthenics session. It's cool to see, it's a cool way of training. And then he found a big massive rock and was doing uh, Bulgarian split squats with that. I like that. It's very resourceful. He's found a massive rock on the beach. Well, that's what calisthenics is though. It's like being creative in your exercises. We're not against like going to the gym and doing that as well as part of your weekly routine. Like we do it all because we just like variety. So doing a few sessions in the gym and calisthenics is good. My chest is sore. A little working chest today, so that's fine. Mostly back dominated because pull sessions are, think about it, you're only really using your back, back and arms. Right, let's get some shrugs going. Ten shrugs. <sighs> spine always cracks when I do this. But feels good. Decompressing the spine. Dead hangs are actually so good, like just hanging from a bar. Gets the grip strength up, which is needed in calisthenics. Yeah. I still need a bit more warm-up like. Loosen off. Like you don't have to do specific sets and reps for a warm-up. It's just like until your body feels ready, that's when you're Good to go, I think. People overcomplicate training, I swear. <laughs> you know what I mean, Joe? All right. Listen to your body, like, you'll do what's right for you, because everyone's different. But uh, be careful you don't confuse that with, like, being lazy. You've got to have the mindset for, like, right, you want to get stronger, you want to get better at skills and stuff. You know yourself what you need to do. You can't go 50%, 80%. It's got to be 100% every time. Do more windmills again. Part of the warm-up. Skin the cat's cold. It's like a gymnastics move. Opens up the shoulders there. And pulling back in with your core. Back down, grip strength. Bit of cramp in the quad there. That's another thing actually. Make sure you do your dynamic stretches first and going straight into static stretches when you're not warmed up or loosened off. You can create tiny tears within the muscles. That's why dynamic stretches are a must. You do that first. We're gonna start with front lever max holds once we're ready. If you're training calisthenics, try and stick to learning two skills. Don't try and do any more than that. So yeah, we're trying to get the front lever just now and the planche. Front lever's almost there. This session's kind of based on that, in the pool. 
aspect of calisthenics. Let's go. Good and plunge, mate. I'm just the wrists. Cool. He's doing it on the ring for the bar. Rings. Are you? I was gonna do it on the bar. Yeah, we're gonna test to see where our front lever's are just now with no band. Just a good like reference point to go off so you know where you're at and do it when you're freshest. So right at the start session after your warm-up. You don't have to try it every session though. Nah. Straddle hold for like five seconds. It's gonna be a never ending like cycle of wanting to get your technique to perfection, yeah. which is the form isn't proper there, but it's all getting the work in. And now we're gonna do the band work. What band are you using? I thought you used to do it with the lightest one, then build up to the heaviest. Ah, oh, this one. I'm slightly better at it than you mind. Right, you use that one. Oh, I'm using this one. It's a bold comment for me. I swear I've been training the front lever more than Joe, so I think I've got a slight edge with technique and form. Your pull strength is arguably better than mine, slightly. My push strength is slightly better than yours. Hence why I'm better at and you're better at front levers. That's just how it is, Mark. So, so I'm not sure about it though, it's all opinions in it, because sometimes your planche, like the technique's so different. Like I'm straighter and you're, you're up a bit, but you hold it longer, so I don't know. When we do with no bands, I can do it way better. Aye. Competition rivalry, man. <laughs> Twin rivalry. Right, first set. Front lever, max hold, thinnest band. Yeah, solid. Oof. Difficult, like. Bad, not bad. See after that, I can feel the whole like, upper back just sore, like tense. It shows you that it's working your back. Give yourself a good three minute rest because there's no point to uh, try to do your next set when you're like fatigued because you just won't do it as good. It'll kind of be a waste because you won't hold it for any length of time. I'm actually going to go up a band for second set and go up a band again for the last set. It's good to have a timer going as well when you're doing your session. It just keeps you in, in track of what you're doing. How long you're resting, how long your like front lever holds are and stuff like that. Just have a stopwatch running on your phone as well. It's been about three minute rest. <laughs> yeah, solid, good straight line. So 10 seconds. Got well, 12 seconds. Ah, it's pretty good. Right, my turn. Let's look at the videos because I swear, like, you, can, you weren't quite straight. They're still good, like, but I don't know, I feel like your legs were, like, higher than your upper body, but it's a dish shape. You don't want that. Uh, it was only slightly, though, but it, that's why it's good to record your sessions because you can uh, look back at the footage and correct yourself. I'll stay with that band for the last set. Slightly yeah. higher. Adjust it. Making sure the rings are level. Oh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> bum up, lift your bum up. Yeah, yeah. That, that was better that I nah. Actually, I might just... Aye, no, that's good. It's the top that's giving the illusion that ah. your back's sinking, but it's not. It's your top. Ah. Alright, that's the first exercise done. Three sets of that, max holds, front lever. Now, what we're going to go on to is, I don't know what you call them, but it's still front lever training. So you slow negatives down to front yeah. lever. And uh, back up again. Slow negative, back yeah, up, slow yep, negative. Yep. Right. Obviously, there's loads of variations you could do to make it easier or harder with the use of bands and different leg placement. But yeah, so this is the level I'm at just now. I put my legs into the diamond position. <sighs> 
That was 10 reps of that. What are you doing? You do that as well. Do my say on the rings. Dive into place, but tuck, advance tuck. Ah, right, you go first. So. I actually feel my back inflated already. That's just from a few exercises. It shows you how good it works the back if you focus on the right muscles. That was hard. That's a really difficult level, by the way. But you're doing not bad. Jeez, how are you doing that? Oh my god, man. Better be a water fountain here. There was a the last Cali Park, but I don't know if there's one here. Right, last set of that. I'm gonna go back to this band just to make sure my form's good, you know? There's no point to try and rush the levels, like, get the easier levels mastered. <sighs> it's going right down to level and squeezing back up again. Oh, only managed eight there, but I did my first two sets without a band. Like advanced tuck, slow negatives. But for the last set, I'm gonna use a band just to maintain the form. Jeez, that's good form. You're going all the way down as well. Yep, good, keep going. Yep. It's good work. All right, we're gonna do tuck, front lever, pull-ups now. Last exercise of the front lever training. Got two opposite rings, man. We've got two sets of rings. This is clearly the newer one with the, the writing, I and mean, then that's the older version. Both from Gravity Fitness. Uh, got a 10% discount if you want it in the description. I'll leave a link. Yep, good form. He's still have no band. <laughs> right, we're gonna try no band this time. Right, let's go. <sighs> I won't manage 10 this time, but see how it goes. Oh, feel the eight, man. You can still work till failure in calisthenics as well. It's like the gym. We we like working to failure quite a lot, to be honest. I feel like it just gives the extra push for the muscles to grow. Yeah, because in like normal gym, we always do drop sets, like fast, intense, like just drop the weight and you get more reps in. Yep. You believe that's the best way to grow muscle, but we're going to have to use a band again, Joe. I only got six last time. Let your hips go a bit lower. Oh. 
Oh my god, man. Right, that's us, Dad. Three exercises down. Front lever. Now we'll do some, like two more exercises, probably, to finish off the session. Finish. I reckon we do both do L sit pull ups to finish. Yeah. Two, one. What's 10? This is the burnout at the end of the session. Just getting pull up reps in, building the back after your front lever training. Dan, go. Chin ups or 10. Chin ups doesn't even target the back though. Oh, it does. Centre at the back. It and does, but it's probably biceps like. Better wide grip for normal pull ups for back. But... No, I actually tried this before, but. <laughs> Jeez, that is solid. <laughs> One handed pull up practice. <laughs> to work on that, like resting times. That's why you tried to go into it too quick. I don't know how much you can even hear us because there's a grass cutter going about. See if these bikes are doing the business or not. Yeah, one more burn out of pull ups, as many as you can do, and then that's what's done. Feeling the fatigue in our back, so. That's been done. Then pull ups to finish. Last set. Yeah, good. Keep going. Post workout snack. Banana and a protein bar, can't go wrong. Let's wrap it up. Okay, that's us done the session. Got a good back pump there. Yeah, good session again. Kelserix, get into it. If you're not started already, get working on it. Yeah. Hit subscribe if you want to see the Kelserix sessions. If you want to start your own journey in Kelserix, follow us. More content coming your way. Yeah, we've got a um, discount on Kelserix equipment in our description. So if you want to get some for yourself, check it out. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.